I know some of you uh, thought you heard 1861, but uh, it was 1961. So I started the prep in 57, and uh, I had two, a parent of two, uh, 86 and 96 graduates that were there. So I was delighted to uh, come up and say a few words, and I'll do it very quickly. About a year ago, I uh, wanted to see who the new guy at the prep was, having known uh, a lot of former presidents. I think we've had 35 uh, in the last 175 years. So I, I pick up the phone, I call Chris, and I say, hey, I want to come by and say hello, because I've got to figure out how you got this job and you know um, what exactly Bowler was thinking about, what your uh, board uh, was thinking about when they hired you. So we sit down and uh, he starts telling me about his vision of helping individuals that are in the Bronx and p even parts of Westchester, but he didn't know where that was, uh, to uh, figure out who needed help to get financing. And that got me to think about when I went to the prep, tuition was <clears throat> $25 a month to $30 a month to 300 for the year, and I've got a tuition break, and that I was able to... Uh, uh, by the way, just as a baseline, if you caddied at the time, you'd get $3 a bag per loop. So if you did doubles, it was 6 bucks. And uh, so I sat down with Chris, and he shared me with his vision, and that was, to again, to reach out. So I started digging into his background. I find out that uh, he grew up in Chicago, went to a school uh, somewhere near there. And then, um, <laughs> I can't remember Notre Dame's name. And then uh, he basically uh, wound up... Uh, 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 doing something uh, with a school in uh, Manhattan here called Regis and creating a REACH program where he went out to individual students and helped them figure out in a grammar school to help them prepare for a high school test to get into Regis. Regis, as you know, is a high tuition school. And their tuition is zero. And uh, basically, uh, then he went out to Chicago and worked for Christ the King where uh, it was in West Chicago, which is a uh, largely African-American community, and 100% uh, success rate, 100% success rate in getting into a college, and I was quite impressed. So we started chatting, and then I, being growing up in the Bronx, happened to uh, see Carl Icahn schools, and I said, wow. I didn't realize they had seven charter schools in the Bronx, and so I started digging into that. Now, I was very fortunate, I met uh, Carl, and. Uh, uh, Gail, Gail about 10, 15 years ago, somewhere in the Hamptons, but uh, Carl would call me up because uh, some arbitrage work, or I would call him because he was taking over a company called ACF Industries, which is on 3rd Avenue, and I was doing all the work on auto parts companies, and they had the Holly Carburetor. So I felt like my Cousin Vinny movie and uh, doing all the work on Holly Carbs. So in any event, uh, enough on my part, and I want to thank Jeff. Uh, and Julie and uh, Gail for being here and sharing with us what all you do. I met some of the uh, individuals that are in uh, high school today uh, at the prep, including one or two that may have come from the Icon School. So let me turn it over to our moderator to uh, carry on the program because I know we're running a little late. Thanks.